The boy you're about to meet is just 12 years old, and he's already been in the presence of angels. His extraordinary experience happened four years ago. It's a day he and his family will never forget. My name is Josiah Lamb and I'm 12 years old. I got into this tragic jet ski accident. I heard God's voice and he said, put your hand up, Josiah. On that 4th of July weekend, when we were at my sister's, um, they were just having a great time. They always did water sports. So he and, and uh, my son-in-law were on the jet ski together. And I was driving it and so I was in the front. I just started gunning it, like I was gonna like whip it and spin. There was this blue boat line where you tie your boat up to. And um, we, we were going back and we just went straight into it. I was upstairs in the house and all of a sudden I just hear a lot of commotion. A few seconds before we hit it, like the sky just lit up and the time just froze. That's, it was amazing. and. The sky just lit up with angels. The angels were not no cupid little angels that were like fluttering a lot around with like the bow and arrows. They had flaming swords and they were just like humongous. Like they were like some brute strength guys. They were big. The, I heard God's voice and he said, put your hand up, Josiah. I see my son-in-law lifting my son out of the water and he was just very limp. You know, you could tell it was serious. And my husband was over there at that point, and he just had Josiah, um, you know, with his head on his lap. You know, his neck was torn open, and you could tell it was really deep, and there were bubbles coming out, and you could hear the air, and there was blood. It was, it was just really, really scary right at that moment. And my husband was just reassuring him the whole time. And he said, he said, Josiah, don't worry about it. Everything will be okay. And that was just because it was very chaotic. And for him to speak that peace at that moment was just really needed. They had to put him in, you know, a, um, in, you know, a coma for 24 hours until the swelling came down because if they didn't, his airway was shut. I broke two fingers. This was all, this is all scar tissue now. They told us, Josiah had lifted his hand at the last second, and they said that, you know, when the rope hit his fingers and his arm, that if he wouldn't have lifted his hand, it would have gone right into his neck and it would have decapitated him. Yeah, even though this was cut open and I broke a couple fingers, I'm happy that I'm still alive. Well, for the first four days in the hospital, he couldn't speak. Um, when they came in one day, my mom was with me, and I was like, Mom, she was like, you can talk now. I was like, yeah, hey, I saw angels. And I, and I knew right then when he said that, and he started telling me he heard God's voice. When he told me that, I was just like, wow. God was there, like, that's the first time I ever heard God's voice, and that saved my life. When I got out of the hospital, um, I mean, I was just telling everybody my story. From that moment on, people wanted me to pray for them. He just would lay hands on, on the kids, and, and, uh, and he was very bold in his prayer, and he was speaking things that God was showing him. There was a, a mission trip coming up to Baltimore, and I go. I saw this guy in a wheelchair. He was just wheeling by in his wheelchair, and uh, he was homeless. I just, I walked over to him. I was like, we have to pray for him. So I walked over to him and I just started praying. The first time he could move his legs, I was like, I mean, that's cool, I like that. But God, can we make him walk? Let's just make him walk. The third time I prayed for him, he got out of the chair and he could walk. Like, I was like, oh! And uh, my husband even went to the, the youth pastor and said, you know, we don't understand what's going on. And he said, he said, look, people are getting healed. When he goes up there and gives a word and prays for people, they're getting touched and moved on by God. And, and, and he's like, this is real. Before I got into the jet ski accident, I mean, I knew there was a God up there. All I thought God was like a judge. You're done, go to hell. Um, that's all I thought God was. And he wasn't that very nice. He is more than that. God loves me so much. and. He doesn't want his children to die, so he 
came down and he saved me. It's been really cool as his mom to see that, um, you know, God came off the pages of the Bible and became really real in his life and, um, and it's interactive.